Hello and welcome my friends. Just had a banger three game series. Now let's move in and see what GAM can do, right? Obviously the GAMers, they perform, they show up, they absolutely smash the Hawks. And on the other side, R7 with the big upset, right? In many eyes, sure. If you look at the regions, it was an upset against Hungry Thieves, but I am not sleeping on this uh, Summit KNA roster. They look good. Let's see what they can do against some fiercer opposition, right? Maybe Gamma can go all the way and qualify through the Swiss stage, or will LLA do it for the first time ever, ever, ever in their history? Let's dive into this draft right now and let's see it. So we have a first pick Rumble for Gam. I have no fucking idea. This champion has been picked, I think, four times already. 0% win rate. There's reason for the nerfs, and there's a reason why uh, you should not pick it. But hey, they don't care. On the other side, we see Ezreal. Ezreal has risen in priority just uh, a couple moments ago. We saw Super do insane damage on him. The mobility is just great, especially when you face down a Rumble, right? You just jump off his ult, and what are you gonna do? Nothing. Uh, Rumble facing against the Nar, so yeah, again, question mark, question mark, is that the best matchup? I mean, eh, just, I don't know. It's Summit's Nar, so that's at least something we're going to see. Levi picks up the fierce, ferocious, and dangerous Shavana once more. I am not believing it, right? Uh, pros in, the, uh, in Korea, right? Peanut, I think, was one of the big enjoyers. Picked up the Shavana during summer this year. Yeah, it looked bad. It looked uh, not great. I was not a big fan. But uh, if Levi does it, hey, let, let, let him cook. Let him cook. He showed up in game number one. Uh, game Yeah, game number one yesterday. Anyway, he's paired up with Yon. Yon, absolutely a monster. I am so hyped to see Emo perform on the champion. Already picked it up once, I believe. And uh, yeah, it was great. I mean, Emo is also someone uh, who I just want to see a bit more of, right? Already like splashed into this game roster so well, performed immediately after being added to it, and uh, yeah, you see you see the vision, right? Everyone picks their own champions, and uh, no swaps, no stupid stuff. They just pick whatever they want. You see the R buttons being lined up, and you see the game victory in the team fights. At least that's that. On the other side, there's the Sundra. So Sundra not being banned, but being picked instead. Uh, that's not what I want to see. But hey, anyway, uh, the matchup against the Yon. You sure you have some agency, but uh, yeah, once he gets uh, to some level, you're just food. Regardless, Braum being picked alongside the monkey. Uh, maybe the monkey is the counter to the dragon. Not too sure about the Chinese folklore or something like that with Sun Wukong or whatever. Um, so that's that. The Braum here, obviously, yeah, a counter pick to the um, the Swatchinol, that's just that. And they don't have that many dashes, so the poppy value is not that high, right? The Ezreal E is a blink, it's not a dash. So I don't think it's going to be countered by the poppy, at least not to my knowledge. So yeah, the poppy value is kind of kind of down, but obviously poppy base value, base damage, still pretty good. The old gen can just decide fights uh, on its own. It's uh, it's pretty good. So let's just see. Can R7? Can the dream live on, or is it game time or something like that? Let's go into the game. Okay, uh, again, the power rankings, GAM is 34th, R7 is 46th. It's like these power rankings by AWS or whatever, it's just like, what? There's no way GAM is the just the 34th best team in the world, right? There's no way GAM is worse than every EU NA team or something like that. What? Absolutely delusional, these rankings, but uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, do we want to talk about something? Well, the Poppy obviously has a bit of an issue here in the spot lane, right? Her W doesn't give her the usual power that you won't expect. And in comparison, level 1 Braum is pretty powerful. Sure, Misfortune, Ezreal, both can do things, but uh, yeah, I think the Braum just swings it somewhat in their favor. The early level 2 obviously uh, helps, but yeah, that's that. This mid lane matchup, yeah, not much to say. It's how you would expect it to go, and top lane, we have seen it 100 million times, so yeah, uh, sadly, we can't really say, ooh, wah, ooh, wah, ooh. Both comms have, like, hey, we have some tools, we press R, and if R is pressed, it's good. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's, like, I guess we can always mention, oh, one comp has Yon, so you have split push. It's like, there's just not too much to say about the draft here, sadly. But, hey, that means we can cut away into the action faster. 
So R7 stand, uh, starting up the dragon. No grub swaps or anything like that, so... I'm a bit intrigued by that, by uh, Gamma's handshaking that, sure, at this point, like, Ilya was on a reset, so they kind of lost bot priority. And, I mean, Levi was already in top set, so, sure, like, people, for some reason, would say Grubs are better than uh, First Drake, especially, like, even if it's an Infernal Drake or something, for whatever reason, people are silly. But the thing is, like, eh, like, you're playing Shavana, like, even then you think grubs are better? Ay, ay, ay. I don't get this grubs priority like for any reason. Sure, again, it, with or against some team comps, yes. Yes, then grubs are pretty powerful. But like in most cases, they're just... Anyway, so next line of grubs. Overall, CS going well for both sides. Really, not much to complain. Uh, they've been diligent, right? If you don't fight, I guess you, it's easier to CS. Um, obviously, CS lead in mid lane. Kind of what you expect from this matchup in the early game. Gaia here getting caught. Maybe they can turn things around. He ults the clone. Levi ults the clone as well. They get a massive scatter there by Kane. Gaia will fall down, but maybe Emo can turn the fight. It's going to be one. Oh my god, Levi does so much damage. What the hell? Both bot laners, by the way, not here. Yo, man, this Levi guy, it's a monster. What the hell? Does he have like fucking 500 damage items in his inventory? How? Yo, just. Just. The Ginsus does that much damage in the early game. Yo. Levi played so well. Sure, Kiaya also got a decent amount of damage off at the like earlier parts before he got uh, dealt with, but yo, that's crazy. Sure, no one is really tanky here, so like base damage like is everything. But here, let's see it. Kiaya gets caught, right? And they all commit to the fucking clone. <laughs> it's crazy. But I guess Levi is kind of also ulting away from the enemies here. Kane gets tagged by uh, Emo ult, and then here Levi is just doing so much damage, chunking them up. And like Kane, like he doesn't have much in the tank, right? I don't think he had ult at that point. And oh my, R7 got into the Levi meat grinder once more. The blast clone is creating some troubles, but is it going to be enough? Seo jumps in. Levi sh is not getting ulted, but oh my god, look at the blinking HP bars. It's a mocking disaster. Look at this. They've combined, don't even have uh, a thousand HP, but they win the team fight. Barely. This is what we all call bullshit. But hey, it is what it is. You gotta take it. You gotta take it. I'm not praising you R7 for this one. In nine out of ten universes, you are fucking slaughtered there. Uh, you should not feel good about any of that. Your positioning and enjoyment into that fight was insane. If it wasn't for that blast cone, bro, you would have been absolutely ripped to pieces. Anyway, let's just see. We have a bit of a split, uh, split map state, but one side is attacking an inner turret, and the other one is attacking an outer turret. They rotate over and defend the turret, but they also have not picked up the top lane turret yet. Kiaya has ult. Oh, Seo, 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 watch out. There's the ult. Okay, interesting how that works. Oh, Elio. Does he bait them all in? Kinda. Okay. That's. Equality, right? You win a team fight because everyone gets away with one HP. This guy gets away with one HP. That's what we call an equal exchange of bullshit. And let's just see, let's just see. Like, all their members now have completed the first items. They have the gold lead. They have, like, absolute map control, right? They've destroyed anything that is, like, close to the bot lane. And, uh, yeah, now they just need to, like, focus their attention to the top side. Again, Gam is just trading it. But, hey, they have six grubs. They're going to pick up the Herald as well. Like, you already see the top lane turrets. I don't see them anymore. They're dead to me. Right? That's probably what my parents think when they... <laughs> okay. Uh, regardless, right? These top lane turrets, they're going to be absolutely destroyed. Like, Kiaya has all in... Now, he's just going to ult the next wave if he really wants to defend the, uh, the bot lane turret, if it really comes to shove. But no, he's just not even under threat. And now let's see how aggressive Gam wants to play this. Seems that they want to channel the recalls first. Okay, that's a bit sad. They had, the, they had that uh, window of opportunity there. But if you look at the inventories, you see that they had the gold in pace. So that's just fine. Shimana just f uh, found some more camps, right? Two items Shimana. She's the str by far the strongest motherfucker on the entire rift. 
I'm not sure what Gam is doing. I don't agree with their assessment here whatsoever. Like, there's no way you get like an inhibitor turret here. And even if you get an inhibitor, tur I mean, if you get the inhibitor turret, that's okay. But getting the inhibitor turret is just not great, right? Playing around this uh, bot side here, it's just not amazing. Um, the only thing I could recommend is like set up a ward right where Syndra just is and let Syndra push out the wave and then TP behind her. If she's not shadowed uh, by, I don't know, Audi or Summit or whoever, like she's just free food. That is like one opportunity or like one angle of place that you can use this bo long bot side for. Otherwise, I just would like shove in the waves and just buy time with it, right? And then you have the Herald, there's the top lane turret, just commit to it, right? It's so much gold, pick it up. Get further accelerated. What do you need to do for that? So first, you need to push in a wave on bot lane. Okay. And yeah, Summit will fall down here in the end. Um, yeah. Levi, well full clearing. Ha 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 ha. Uh, just picks up an extra clear. So what am I saying? You need to push in at least a wave or two in bot lane, right? That's the benefit that you have from the long lane that you don't need to like be so diligent with it. Okay, yeah, that's just that's just not correct. Nice drift, but this mid lane turret in comparison to the top lane turret is just not the same. I just don't agree with it. Was the uh, thing running out? I also don't think so. Anyway, what I was, let's just let me just finish the point. Push in one one and a half wave spot. That's the benefit of the long lane. Then use the range advantage and like baby cheat with ult to get bot uh, to get mid lane push. Use that to penetrate the top side and set up the vision to then just herald the turret. You have six drops, you don't even need a wave. Herald plus like two people, just the turret dies, right? Free 800 plus gold and uh, yeah, that would have just been okay. But okay, Gam, they, they want to um, pick up some kills and they want to be a bit more calm. Okay, I mean, it's not that they're getting outscaled, like far from it. They were thinking about doing the Baron there. But uh, yeah, they just give up the dragon, and that's two uh, like hextech drags given over to R7. So R7, they have been diligent at that front, but they've given over all the void objectives, right? The grubs, the herald, and I mean the herald was dog shit. It didn't do anything. So now, okay, next blue trinket reveals that the dragon is like in danger. Oh my god, they get the poppy, they get the objectives though, and I mean all the was nowhere near this so gam they sneak it even on the second attempt kind of so yeah let's just see let's just see okay now they have the young they have levi levi can also split push really he can obviously help with the siege right there are not many turrets left to loop play around but let's just see okay emo i think you can cook here i think you can just absolutely destroy them here bomb bombs pop finishes up the monkey and, uh, yeah. Oh, Levi with the movement flashes forward. Kane, no! Boom, dead. Presses R though. That's, uh, at least I can say Kane is good. I at least continue can continue to say that. But, uh, yeah, that's a TP in the mid lane. Oh, nice predict there from Levi on the E. Flash forward. He doesn't get the stun, but it's not enough. And so, actually, he got the stun. Zeus just had a very fast cleanse. Never mind. Well done. And, uh, yeah, Gam. Step and it's game time. That's it. Picking up the inhibitor turret and forcing. Yeah, they got the mid lane turret as well that they charged the herald into. They still have some baron time. I would love to see them. Uh, yeah, I mean they, they, the focus was on the void objectives, right? They really value that. And uh, I mean, hey, when you get to the turrets, you absolutely do destroy them with six grubs. So I'm not denying that one, even though I'm a grub hater. Okay, so Baron buff is running out any moment now. Uh, now hopefully they can set up for this top lane turret. It's just, I please deal with it, right? Sure, you have an open inhibitor in bot lane, but you uh, you should not really care. It doesn't do anything for you yet. You should wait, uh, and then collect it later. Oh, Kane, he thought he could cook, but it's Yon. You can't cook that one. That guy is the master chef, right? He has two knives. He's going to slice it up. And uh, yeah, they pick up the kill, they press R and yeah, R7, they have to eviscerate, what, they have to, uh, what is it, evict? Leave the area, whatever. English is hard. And uh, yeah, I mean, hey, Summit, have fun, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not like you could help here at all, right? Um, 
They pick up two inhibitors at least. Hey, R7, you didn't lose the bot lane inhibitor. So it's not three inhibitors. Summit picks up some gold. He TPs back to his base. The question mark pings by, uh, uh, what is it, Gam? They ask themselves, what the hell is that guy doing? Fast recall, I guess. But, uh, I mean, it's hard for his perspective, right? The map is fucking dark. He sees the enemy team backing away. You have no clue. Are they coming for you? Are they not? So, uh, it makes sense, but uh, not the most educated guess. Lions here. Kinda baited, but oh, it's a bit messy. It's a bit messy. Levi is getting lower. That's the jungler dead. Audi finds the flank. He enters the fight again. Yoan is not here. Kiaya slowed by the Brontag. Will burn Kiaya down and... That is a massive throw by our uh, by our friends, the Gam Timers, right? They will pick up the soul here. Emo, you have TP, just TP into the base and end the game or something. Uh, the minions are not actually in favor for you. So that is the toll paid. That is Hextech's soul for Ezreal, Nar, and Sundra. Look at this. This looks so in, but hey. It's so it's such a split fight, right? Levi engages, but he doesn't have the full backing of the team because the first line of engage is also messy. One side commits to uh, the Leona, one side uh, to the Brom, one side commits to the Brom, one side commits to the Monkey. Levi goes in on the other side, right? He anticipates full follow up, but his team is split. His team is unsure what to do. Emo, not even here, right? It's like, let's just see. I mean, KNA, by the way, I think he's making a good statement. Um, not sure what his plans are and so on and so on, but I think he's one of the people who, uh, yeah, should get some good offers by I don't know LPL teams, LCK teams for the next uh, for the next year. Okay, Summit here doing his things like the Nar main. They pick up the third inhibitor. Uh, I don't have the timers yet, but uh, they should like the others should come up not too long ago. Actually, yeah, 1 minute 50, 2 minutes, okay, that's still super relevant. And uh, yeah, that's now 2 minutes, 140, right, of super minions, double super minions spawning. Look at this minion army marching down the map. I mean, Gam, like, if you can't set it up with that, I, I have no clue. Like, you can't just have uh, Easy Love and uh, Levi at the objective and the others could just stand around in GAM space being annoying and doing something or playing Bouncer. Hello! Just do the Baron! Uh, just do Baron. Just do Baron. They can't leave their base. It's double super minions at 30 minutes. Like, there are very few champions in the game that can stop that. And they're not in this game. Um... Yeah. No Sivir, no Azir, no uh, Smolder or something like that. Anyway, so inhibitors are respawning, but there's the Baron. Full map control in terms of waves, right? R7, they used the time they had to set up some good defensive wards. Either for Summit to flank or to find, like, just vision pockets. To find someone lone, strandling around. And hey, in an honest 5v5, sure, there are 5,000, 6,000 gold behind. But that does not matter that much anymore at this point in the game, right? They have the uh, Hextech Soul, but hey, Baron buff. Now, they just, like, gam, calm your tits, just, yeah, throw abilities at them, and that's about it. Just defend the minions, it's just PvE. You don't need to, you don't even need to attack the turrets. It's going to work anyway, because they're uh, that cool, but, uh, yeah, any fight would now be a risk. It doesn't matter, right? Because, like, um, R7 uses their cooldowns on the minions, and as such, in any fight is an easy win. Anyway, Gam here with a decently controlled game, right? Sure, we had some crazy moments, and, like, that last fight was a bit messy, but overall, pretty smart, pretty controlled game, right? Uh, yeah. VCS cooking. VCS cooking. Let's go into game number two. Okay, so here in the game, number two draft. Let's see. Rumble first pick again for Gam. That's just so fucking silly. Uh, Shavana, by the way, has been banned. Of course, of course, right? She has. Um, 
Yeah, my, my Sundra ban raid predictions is just not looking great. Anyway, so Kiaya, again, as I mentioned, blind picks the bar, uh, uh, the, the, the fire yordle, the rumble, right? Then we see the explosion yordle on the other side. Again, like the Ziggs changes has been uh, very, yeah, irrelevant. And the Jarvan comes up again. Yep, Jarvan and Jarvan. It's the same thing with the Vi, which has been banned by themselves, right? You put a circle and it put a circle on top of that and that's success. So with that being the case, hey, let's see R7, they have already something cool. On the other side though, Yon again for emo, he fried and Levi, or rather Levi picks the Jin for uh, easy love and you know like the Jin with rumble against the Yordle, the, the Zix, it just works. It, it's just nice, uh, nice counterplay there. Doesn't mean that the Zix can't do his things, but like a game is kind of answering. And Levi again goes with the Monkey King after the ban of the Shavana. And uh, hey, it's just going to be again press R, especially if Elio flies in with the. Um, what is it? The grand entrance, right? And he's just going to line it all up. So many knockups, you would believe it's a Yazoo in mid lane, but no, it's not. On the other side, hey, we have long range champions, and then we have the Xanta as the bouncer next to the rel. We can't even engage and then throw shit at you, and uh, we can put you into circle and then sh throw circles at you. Um, yeah, again. Similar to game number one, I don't think our seventh comps have been bad. I think it's uh, just a bit of a diffy, right? Um, they're playing against a bit of a stronger team, a team that's not willing to uh, throw things away to the same degree. And uh, yeah, regardless, regardless, uh, yeah, we don't have much to talk about in this game either because hey, we we see these champions every fucking game. So what am I going to tell you? One comp presses R, one front, one comp like puts you in place and throws abilities from range. Um, that's kind of how it goes. Um, the lanes, hey, we have a rumble versus the tank. The tank is Cassante, so that's the X factor here. Jungle matchup, we have seen it like 300 times. Not this year, but throughout the years. And well, mid lane matchup, sure, we have not seen too much of Jace. But a hey, Jace versus Yon, it's not that, uh, yeah, it's not the reinvention of the wheel. And the spot lane matchup also, uh, like, we have seen it, you have seen it. Let's just go into the action right away. Yeah, uh, so let's uh, talk about uh, 530, right? You you expect the grubs changes maybe to come in, well, we'll have to see. But yeah, this mid lane matchup, Kane is doing, like, really everything that he wants, right? Obviously, he knows Levi is going to power farm, he knows there's not too much threat, especially Right now he doesn't have the vision, but he had it for a bit. But hey, like Yon gets one back and he has the fleet foot work, he has the potions, he has the second wind, he may even have the, oh, what is the name, it's not revitalized, the, the one in, oh, the one instead of triumph, health, oh, I have no fucking idea, it's newer, whatever. And he has the Vampire Receptor. That guy, like, he was so, like, getting low, Emo played well, Kane played well. Uh, right, but now it's just uh, yeah, it's just Yon in uh, this. Uh, uh, it's crazy. Oh wait, the Zix might get caught here, but the shots don't connect, and the old. Oh, now he's in danger, and that will be first blood for Kiaya. They get the W as well. Lions is forced to dash away. Easy Love just runs through the turret and knocks down his head. That's about it for this good early game for R7. Uh, oh, good, a oh, fine early game, right? Top lane was equalizing, right? Just okay. Bot lane was falling down behind a bit, but overall was okay. Mid lane was doing well, but now, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like a very bad situation has unfolded. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Flash forced out and sidesteps it regardless. Levi now also picks up the next one. They got one grubber, so no six drops situation even possible. And okay, he's pretty bold there with his start, right? No control, no bot lane around, so. Okay, so it will be uh, again another situation where R7 picks up the dragon. Gam, they collect the dragon, good for them. Not giving up everything in the early game and yeah plates fall down so that's that's about it and yeah first items coming in you gotta expect gam to make things happen right they really love to fight around their item timers and oh what is that that's a herald up in the pot top side ready to be fought over uh, but levi well he's pathing towards top 
But the emo is bought. I guess he has TP, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see, right? At this point, again, there are tiers being stacked by R7, and it's weird. Seo goes for the. Uh, right? That's exactly what he goes for. He goes for tier and then still builds Ludens, right? Um, it's just weird, right? Sure, it's a better item spike early and it gives you the power, it gives you more burst ability, but. Like, either he's stacking up a tier and he wastes that gold for no reason whatsoever besides, oh, I have more mana early game. Or he goes for double lost chapter items, which, well, there are certain reasons why you would go to hell. And, well, if you buy double lost chapter items, there's a special place in hell ready for you. Especially if you're my teammate. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, Gam already on the objective. Let's just see. R7 here has to fall their way in. But, yeah, yeah, they're just a bit too late. They're just a bit too late. There's the TP from Elio. Uh, there's the TP from Emo. Elio with the engage. They just throw cooldowns at them. It's a bit uncoordinated. On court. I can't speak. But, uh, yeah, Seo Chunk. Summit here. Uh, not too healthy. Audi goes in. Falls to flash away. And there's Emo with the old Kane will fall shortly. His flash. Uh got predicted by emo and it's a is it a double kill for emo is it a double kill for the yone that would be quite disastrous ay 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 and yeah Audi goes back in baits his teammates to step up and then Kane's flash gets predicted by emo uh yeah i guess you should wait for the yone uh, q3 and then flash but yeah well whatever and uh, yeah, it, this is a messy engage. Like nothing really should happen here. People throw cooldowns. Seo gets chunked. But what is Audi doing here? Like he re-engages onto him. Like there is just. Uh, I mean, Seo could have ulted or something, right? But the the fact that Seo didn't immediately ult right, just means that there was no com communication whatsoever. Gam overall with a three thousand gold lead here, and uh, they're prepping for the next dragon, right? Uh, not something they've uh, prioritized so far in this series, right? Game number one, they gave over everything. Oh, Seo gets interrupted on the satchel jump and that's him dead. No, uh, yeah, no way to get back into the fight, right? He's dead for 30 seconds. They pop the Herald, they pop the curtains and it is curtains closed for R7. It feels like they're constantly on the back foot. They come from behind. It's going to be really rough and yeah. Levi looks for something. The charge is not going to uh, last till he gets the bot. He just drives. Okay, weird. I think... I'm, I'm not sure, right? You don't have an infinite charge, I feel? I usually don't get Herald, right? My jungler takes it, so that's that. But uh, couldn't he have charged into bot lane turret just? I think it would have been enough. Regardless, they they trade turrets here, right? Easy love needs to be careful. The ult comes down, but he flashes away from it. Yeah, boss, weird. But there is the TP Kane. Oh, he gets away. The map change helps him here. <laughs> Wild. Uh, but yeah, Kiaya yeah, also doesn't have ult or anything. No flash to follow, right? So Kane just gets the uh, movement speed buff, gets the E. Uh, like the, the hammer backs and then he survives man. That's K like K this Kane guy. He's great. I hope we can all agree on that um, Oh, they're standing on the board here. So they're getting spotted So R7 here has the idea they have the plan But the gold difference is just too big right even if you see the play coming. It's just not enough Kiaya slays Kane and as oh he gets Audi as well and here we have the 1v1 emo flashes this one but is it enough? Kisante, a champion. Man, you ask yourself which champion is worst designed. The Kisante with magic resistance and just a bit of armor. Or the fucking Yon with 3 0 and 2. I, like, actually, it's insane that, that Kisante makes this this close. Like, what the fuck, by the way? What the fuck? Like, Kisante with an armor and a magic resist item. Nick nearly beats a 3 0 and 2 Yone with Blade of the Rune King and level 15 and all of that. Like, what the fuck? This Cassante champion is insanely stupid. Uh, obviously, we didn't see the start of it. Maybe Summit played well, right? Even though Cassante is absolutely disgusting. Uh, 
there's the potential to uh, to play him well. That's like not something I want to deny. Oh, okay, so this is how it starts. Summit? No! Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't want to see this. Summit here just dashes away. Kassante, by the way, stands in the middle of four people, just dashes away, and is 60% HP. Very nice champion you designed there, right, games? Please remove him. Nope, they're reworking him, and he does more, even more damage from uh, what I've seen. But yeah, I mean, Gam, they picked up the Baron at the, at the end of that, and there's just not much to see. Uh, Kane played well, and overall, I don't think our seven players individually looked that bad. Uh, the bot lane kind of, they're getting caught here, but that's just, I guess, bot lane from behind. You're just free food. So, uh, yeah, they pick up their first kill, right, so they don't have to be that sad, but they're still getting dove. They're still getting cooked. Uh, okay, Kane, why, why, why? But, yeah, whatever. It's not that it matters. It's not that it matters. He's 03. He's 03, but uh, has second most CS in the game, so... Uh, I'm just saying that's that. Anyway, Gam, nothing to see. They do what we expected from PSG. Clean 2-0 into clean 2-0. Gam, it's Gam time. Pew, pew, pew. And that's how they move up to the Swiss stage. R7, you played well. Stand proud. You performed yesterday. Today was not your day. Move to the side and face your next opponent. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed yourself with the League of Legends content, smash that subscribe button, right? Smash it for the game time and smash it for more Worlds content. We see each other with more stuff. Bye bye, my friends.